been here at least at this point by the time you see this video i spent four weeks in colombia today is saturday so today is my third week my last saturday here i leave next saturday i just got ready and i'm gonna head to an area called zona t uh if anybody's been to colombia or bogota and i keep calling bogota wrong so don't come for me i'm sorry but yeah today is my last saturday so i'm gonna go to zona t there's a mall called Dino, and Dino, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I'm gonna head there and do some browsing. There was a store that I saw that I liked a couple of things. At this point, I've been traveling out of a suitcase for probably like, let's say four months in total, four months consecutively, but four months in total. So I spent two months in Barbados. I lived out of a suitcase. I had the same clothes and everything, then I went to Spain. I had a little bit of time in Spain, then I spent a month here. So I'm I'm tired of the clothes that I have. I feel as though, like I'm changing as a person and I feel like if my clothing doesn't really fit that. Plus I had bought some things because the, the thought at one point was to stay in Canada for a bit longer and then I got, I was feeling pulled there, you know, and, and energy is calling. Like I, I kept hearing this voice and I was like, you know what? You need to listen. So I decided to pack up and I decided to take a chance on myself and make a move. So we are, are we are heading to our next location. By the time you watch this video, I I will be there or I will be packing up to be there. But yeah, it's gonna be in Panama. I've lived there for a little bit and by the time I get there, that will be the first time I will be in Panama in like a year which is kind of crazy how much time has passed so quickly. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let me pack up my bag. This is the first time I'm going outside with like makeup and stuff on. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Just a little bit. Cause normally I try not to like wear any jewelry or anything, like just not to stand out too much. But I went to Zona T last week. I went to it like twice. And down there, people dress up a little bit more. It's more, um, you see like a lot more police and dogs. It feels a little bit more sketchy, but because of that, I'm like, why do you need such heavy security? But, you know, a lot has happened here and a lot still does happen here, but they try to make it as safe as possible for people. But yeah, when I went in that area, people were a lot more dressed up and sexy and fashionable. So I decided I'm gonna make myself look cute today. See if I can vlog a bit for you guys. But yeah, I think we might do a couple days in my life. So I don't think I might get much content today because I still need, I still have quite a bit of work to do. Without further ado, let me show you the Airbnb quickly. I just tidied up so you guys could see it. The entrance when you come in over here is the kitchen. Everything that I needed. It was very functional. Functionable? Functional. Like it was easy to maneuver in the space by myself. Uh, but I did end up like ordering a lot of food because the food here is like hella cheap. These weren't supposed to be there, but I stacked them away because I, I just felt it was stupid having them. Oh, that's better. Yeah, a little smaller bathroom. The sleeping area. This little walk-in closet area is the bathroom. As I said, it's not in the best. I think that's underwear right there. <laughs> uh, studio, it was 500, 500 and I think probably 40 for the month. 
which I thought was pretty reasonable. The bail building is extremely, extremely secure. Uh, there's 24 hour security, which helped make me feel like really, really safe. Overall, I had a really, really good trip. Um, all I was telling you about the building, um, so you could only access your floor, the floor with the gym, and then the rooftop. I do have a recording of the rooftop, I believe. I'll see if I can add that in. One tip I could tell you guys about the Uber, especially you gals, if you're coming here on, if you want to come on your own, sit in the front seat of the Uber. I've not had any bad experiences, and inshallah. Find little ways to make little precautions for yourself if you want to solo travel especially in an area like Colombia, super cautious. But one thing that I do believe, people mean well. Like people intend to be good and intend to do well, but there are like those bad seats. I have not encountered any, inshallah. <laughs> Every time I'm talking about this now, I'm like, what if something happens now that I say this on the vlog? But yeah, let's not put that energy out there. Hopefully by the time you see the vlog, I'm gone and I'm safe and I'm fine in my new location. But yeah, without further ado, let's head through the door. That is a cute restaurant. I saw it last week and I decided to eat in it and it's, it's adorable. brought like a wine menu. A mimosa. I think I might get a mimosa. And I'm not a drinker, but... the first time I've um, gotten home at this time. I don't like being outside when it's this dark by myself. Um, but yeah, the Ubers kept canceling. People tell me, told me uh, that Uber doesn't work that great here, but that was the first time I had any issues. And I think it was more because of where I was standing. Um, the weather kind of changed a lot. It, it got very rainy, very fast. It got very dark, very fast. Right now it's, I think it's after six, but yeah, I went into a store and when I came back outside, it was just completely dark and then it started raining. Um, but yeah, just now my Ubers kept canceling. Uh, the first one, he actually picked up somebody else and the trip had started and I kept messaging him like, bro, where you at? Where you at? And he didn't respond. So I had to cancel that. Hopefully I could get back a refund. And then the other four after that kept canceling and then I walked, I moved from where I was and I went to another direction to see if, if moving would help. And it actually did, but at first the guy, he was four minutes away, then it popped to like 14 minutes away. And I started to freak out a little bit because I thought he was gonna cancel again. Um, and then I talked to a lady, she only spoke Spanish, but then she went, she was working for charity. And she went and she found a guy who spoke um, Spanish, English and so he messaged the guy on uber to find out exactly where he was and the guy was like yeah he's coming he was a very sweet old guy um <laughs> very very gentle like you know when you could feel good energy from someone he had a really good energy very peaceful um even when he was dropping me off he made sure he didn't drop me in water and yeah i'm finally ready to head down to the cafe but the apartment is in a mess i'm just feeling very overwhelmed right now I started packing um, up and I have so many things and I'm just trying to make everything fit. I'm just getting a little annoyed. Um, but this is how my makeup came out. I need to find a better foundation because as you can see, it's not really, 
I didn't really put on much foundation anyway. But yeah, this is the look for today. himself and he actually told me that walking to the church that I wanted to go to was actually not that safe so he accompanied me which was really really nice but when you actually get to the church um, there are lots of like police and it's a, it's a touristy area so I was able to film a bit there um, but overall like the walk there is not like a safe street I'm gonna wash up now I have a lot of work that I need to do that I did not get to do, but I did have a really nice day. And given it's my last Sunday here, I I am actually really happy with how it went. the final day of my trip and I woke up feeling a little sad like bittersweet feelings but I'm really excited to go um, today's gonna be a bit of a busy day or productive you may not use the word busy Ponte, suelta, bailame, date la vuelta, 